All right, investors, this is Andreas from Portfolio123, and this is my second video about the AI factor of Portfolio123. I did a pretty deep dive the last eight weeks. Results are pretty amazing, so I thought I'd put out another video. Uh, there will be three sections of the video. First of all, we will produce one AI factor system together. Then I will show you some results and I will show you how to activate AI on Portfolio123. All right, so let's just build it. Target will be three months relative strength, right? So training universe S&P 500, benchmark S&P 500, and let's just call it growthy system on SPY. Um, let's create it. We can basically ignore that one. We don't need, you know, minimum liquidity on, on big caps. That's uh, more for, for small cap stuff. And preprocessor, I like rank the best. Um, didn't do a lot of testing with Setcore and MinMax, but I like rank because I know it from my traditional factor investing ranking systems basically don't have an assumption about the distribution of the data. So it's non-linear. I like that a lot. All right, so data set will be 20 years here um, every week, just in case <laughs> if we get a big outlier, um, I don't like to restrict the system. It, it would not matter big, but just for fun, let's do that. All right, here are the features. You can add predefined. We added a lot of ratios here, a lot of factors, um, and we will probably propagate those outside of the AI factor to the rest of portfolio one, two, three. Right now they're just for um, the AI component. Um, let's just import it from another AI factor system. Uh, let's just do that. And you basically see it's, it, it's really growthy, right? Growth estimates, um, values in here, right? And also a little bit of momentum on the industry, all right? So now let's load the data and we will do the regression on the sample. I will show that in a minute, what that means. And I will see you in two minutes. All right, the data has loaded, uh, it took about two minutes and now we can look at the feature stats. Those are the regressions we run and you basically see what factors are important and what not. So you could basically start to, um, you know, optimize that. We just leave it like that. And we go directly to validation. I like time series CV here. Um, let's just do seven folds and let's just go to 36. Oh, let's go to five here, right? So basically what will happen, the validation will go from here to here. Then you have the gap 52 weeks you define and then you will build the portfolio or validation holdout will start. You build it from here to here and then uh, the validation holdout goes. Um, let's, just, let's just go to 12 months here. And uh, so it will look like this. All right, uh, let's go to the models, add the models here. Um, extra trees at, and then let GBM add, and I also want to have random forest. Oh, let's just do a linear as well. All right, uh, we start all that, save the predictors and do start. And I will see you in three minutes. All right, almost all models went through, right? This is still running. Uh, I think for the sake of the video, uh, we can ignore that. And uh, yeah, let's go to the results. So we basically see extra trace two does very well. Um, we can go to the results here, go to the portfolio. 
you basically see that the portfolio it builds uh, performs the S&P 500. So that will be the highest ranked stocks, 10% basically. That will be the blue line. The lowest would be the um, lowest decile would be basically the red line here. And now let's build the predictor. So we basically know that extra trees is doing well, then light GBM uh, to based on, it's, it's basically ranked on those statistics here, right? And now let's build a predictor, well, let's say extra trees one um, and two and three. All right, let's do the prediction here. Uh, let's do extra trees. All right. One would be running now until 2019. So that's really important. Leave space for the back test. So this will run from 2004 to 2019, train basically on that time. And then you take the predictor, put it into a ranking system, into a portfolio system. And uh, you can then train, uh, you can then do the back test from 2019 to 2024. And I will show that in a minute. All right, extra trees one and another predictor, extra trees three, the same thing, 2019. All right, let's do the submit and let's just start both. All right. Okay, I will see you in a minute. All right, both predictors run and now we're gonna build a ranking system with it, so. Sorry, you click here and then you copy it and we put a ranking system on it. So let's go to research, ranking systems. All right, let's say new stock ranking system. Let's copy that here, save it, and let's add a note. So stock formula. Right, let's add it and that is our ranking system. Let's just copy that here. So I have in the, for the system. And now let's create a system. Uh, simulated strategy, All right? Here we go, stock. Uh, use that universe ranking would be this one here. All right, by very simple rank above 92, cell would be ranked below 80, and let's just run it. Oh, okay, I made a mistake, sorry. Obviously I have to put it on the S&P 500 here, all right. Let's do that and it will run and let's do five years now. Uh... And here we have the system on the extra trees, right? So one can see that it's pretty growthy and uh, picks up high beta stuff. You see that here, right? That's probably a lot of tech here. Yeah, you see it, a lot of technology. Um, so it picks up growthy stuff and that is the system where you took basically that predictor. Again, it trained from 2004 to 2019 and now you back test it on data, the predictor training has not seen, right? So this is pure auto sample here. All right, let's take the next one here. Let's take extra trees three. All right, let's build again a ranking system. Stock. All right, let's save that. Let's add a node. Stock from us, right? And save it. And now again, I want to copy that. And now research simulated strategies. Let's 
new stock. Oh, yeah. Got this one. I get the universe, which would be this one. Viral would be rank buff 92. And then whatever cell would be below 80. Uh, I, can't, I forgot the universe. Uh, let's just do that here. All right, uh, let's do five years. And let's run it. Yeah, it has run and you see basically the second system. Um, and let me just see if it's in, 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 in Indicative. So extra trees had a rank of 90, but um, extra trees one had a rank of 90 here, and extra trees two had 100. But on the portfolio, it you know it shows a different result. So that's not too bad, but obviously this has a little bit more alpha. And uh, I think the Tron is also a little bit bigger. No, it's it's even better on the on the uh, max Tron here. All right, that is it, how to build an AI factor system. And I wanna show some more results. This is a system I built on small caps, right? And uh, also the data set, the features I use were the same as you saw just in the other system. And results are pretty stark. So the back test is pretty cool. And uh, it's out of sample since here. So this is kind of a 30% run since it's out of sample, out of sample. So I tested their predictor, which is an out of sample test. And then, so to say the real time test is uh, a nice pop here. Um, tested other systems as well. Uh, you know, built that system here with a gentleman yesterday. Nice, very nice system on the S&P 500. Uh, also using extra trees here, um, you know, that's just unbelievable outperformance. Other small cap systems, so-so in here, I took um, small caps and really did a lot of, um, a lot of features. I took 133 features and uh, on, a, on a small cap, you know, universe and, you know, restrides are pretty okay as well. So no matter where we look, it looks really, really interesting. And if you want to activate it on your portfolio, you go to your account settings and then you go to API and you activate it. So this is basically the variable cost, uh, you know, 50 bucks, and then it loads another uh, 50 bucks. Uh, if you, you know, have uh, tested a lot on our servers, and this year is basically for running the predictors you build on your, on your systems. All right, that is it. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you.